Hey y'all, we are at the storage unit getting a uh, beauty. Yes, we are. <laughs> Why are we doing that? Because we're going to Pahrump this weekend, our favorite camping spot. And then Donna's going to stay there for a whole week. Uh, she, we're, we're, she's going to be with our, our neighbors, Gary and uh, Mandy are going down there as well. Uh, but I got to come back and work, but I got a three day weekend next weekend. So we're looking forward to it. You know, sometimes a little time apart is not a bad thing. <laughs> hey, you could be larger than life. food uh food back and uh it's a niger feeder it's a what it feeds thistle seed oh okay so we got a feeder apparently for the birds we got a little birdie stuck in there and so we're gonna try Hey everybody, so uh, we're getting ready to head out to Pahrump today and um, the plan is, I don't know if we told you this, maybe we did, we're, the plan is we're going to drive the rig down there, today is Sunday, I'm going to set it up and drop Donna off, she go, is going to spend a week with Gary and Mandy who are already down there, those are our neighbors that we, that we really enjoy hanging out with. She's going to spend the week with them and then I'm coming back down Friday of this week for a three-day weekend with all of them. And um, so it, it'll be kind of cool because Donna's wanted to do this for a long time where she could just be by herself, no dogs, no Carl. I don't know why she doesn't want to hang out with me, but whatever. Anyway, so this will be a really cool week for her and frankly, uh, it'll be a pretty cool week for me too because I will get to watch whatever I want to on TV. So we've just backed into our spot, which was a never ending endeavor. And uh, we are setting up camp right now. The rig is auto leveling. That's why you kind of hear them going off in the background. And uh, Donna is- Fighting with the rug. Donna's fighting with our outdoor rug. Which we had to put away in the rain and it was all wet last time. Yeah, last time we put it away, it was raining. So, you may recall we were at Cattail Cove so, and our favorite thing to do is to pack up in the rain. So, and then um, in a minute, we're gonna hook up the rest of our docking items, uh, our water and sewer and such. And we're gonna take you along for that little journey. Okay, so I'm gonna put out just one of our slide outs for now. 
And then I'm gonna uh, start hooking up the hose and the electrical and all of that stuff. Okay, so remember my rule, gloves. Gloves save your fingers. So um, next step in this process, we put one slide out, but usually before we put the port side or the left-hand side slides out, uh, I try to get the all of the um, utilities hooked up because that way the slides are not in my way. Otherwise, I'm bumping my head and all kinds of stuff. So next step is the electric. Uh, this is 50 amp, right, the rig, and so we just hooked up our 50 amp power, and I, I, as you can see, I carry my power cords in a tub, and the reason I do that uh, is it just makes it easier to handle them. I coil them in there, put them in the tub, and then usually I'll leave the tub and the cables outside just like you see there with, in this case, there's a whole bunch of that heavy cord in that tub. That tub's not going anywhere in this wind that we're having, so that's how that's how I do that. So the next step on this journey is to hook up the water, fresh water. Got the hose hooked up at the spigot end. And now we're gonna hook it up at our docking station. I wanna tell you this neat trick I came up with. This thing does not always like to hook up, right? And especially in inclement weather and when it's cold, it's really funky to get it good and tight. So this is my solution. I've got a set of vice grips locked on here. I just leave them on the hose. I get it all hooked up. If I ever need the vice grip, grips, I know where they're at. I know where I can get them. And that way I can get the leverage I need to get this good and tight. Otherwise it sprays everywhere. So one of the problems that I face because I have limited storage because I didn't get a drop frame RV uh, fifth wheel. So one of the things is uh, all of the different tubs I use to carry my stuff in. And so one of the things that I have gone to is, uh, I don't know if I've showed this on a previous video, but I literally uh, put, put my sewer hoses in this specific tub. It's outside of the rig. And, uh, and then I ratchet strap it um, to my generator box. They're very lightweight sewer hoses, so I'm not adding a lot of weight to the tail end of the, of the rig. It's a good place to carry them where they're out of the way. It gives me more storage inside the storage area. And, um, you know, nobody's really going to take them because they're sewer hoses. And Donna actually brought labels on this trip so we can, oh, I take that back. Donna has already done it. We have already marked on the t on the boxes that these are sewer hoses. So it's like, if you want to take our sewer hoses, um, you're welcome to them if you want them that bad. I could lose the ratchet strap depending on where I've parked the rig and so forth. Um, but I don't even I'm not even that worried about that. I guess it's sort of a trial and error. Let's see what happens while I leave it strapped to the back. Uh, had it that way. Now this is the second trip. Um, but it was parked in storage, etc. And um, anyway, nobody's messed with it to date. So anyway, the sewer hoses are in here, and I'm going to set those up next. Um, um, and then basically, the utilities are all taken care of, and we're ready to go. Donna so uh, we're all set up uh, got all of your utilities set up you've got all of your groceries I got your satellite set up so you can watch the food channel what are you gonna do all week without me I'm going to Disneyland <laughs> no, <laughs> no that, that, oh. that's not cut <laughs> no really what are you gonna do all week nothing absolutely nothing I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch the birds. I got my bird feeder to hang and my hummingbird feeder to hang. And I've got a deck of cards and I've got games on my phone and... So it's just good to get away from me and the kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, and Gary and Mandy are here, right? Yeah. So you'll have fun hanging out with them, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward and to that. will you miss me? Sure, I will miss you. I'll miss the doggies a lot. Okay, that's not me, that's the doggies. <laughs> All right. Will you miss me? 
I, a lot when I'm watching whatever I want on TV and uh-huh. eating whatever I want to eat, yeah. I will be and thinking about you. You can't cook anything or fix any food other than. I can do. I can do stuff. I'll be fine without you. <laughs> Is this a trial separation? <laughs> okay, so I'm uh, coming down my street in my area where I live. I've dropped Donna off, set up her rig for the week. I'm so glad that she gets to enjoy some time alone. Um, during COVID, you know, you don't really get a chance to get away from it all because you're so locked in and locked down. And this is such a good treat for her and me. I'll enjoy some alone time as well. But she'll spend uh, four or five days there by herself and uh, I will see her on Friday. It was a great down and back, very uneventful. Got the camper set up for her and uh, it'll be me and the dogs batching it for a few days. And um, I'd like to ask you, if you have not already, please subscribe to our channel. Become a Rambler with Rambling On. Also, uh, give us a like if you would. Feel free to comment. And we always love it when you share our videos. We'll see you next week.